Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about top 3 including the top things that you can do in this city. I already posted a similar video some years ago but I pimped it up with some new hotspots so let's start right now. Number 1 is the top 3 sand dunes Con Airport. Since March 2015, you can find detective Conan themed decoration and many fun attractions all around the airport. So if you wonder why detective Conan is so popular here, that is because the creator of this famous Japanese manga and anime is from Totori Prefecture. And guess what? There is a Conan museum where you can step into the magical world of Gosho Aoyama. Definitely a must for Conan fans. You can also buy Conan goods at the souvenir shop at Totori Station. Totori is actually not a typical tourist destination, but it is well known and home to the largest sand dunes in Japan. It is 14 kilometers long and 2.4 kilometers wide, and it is part of UNESCO World Heritage. There is another famous manga writer in Totori, Mizuki Shigeru. His most known work is Gegege no Kitaro, which is about Japanese folklore, ghosts, supernatural creatures called yokai. The Mizuki Shigeru Road is a street dedicated to all the characters that appears in his manga works. There are hundreds of yokai statues, many restaurants and souvenir shops, and also a little museum. If you are hungry and want to try something unique, then try the pink curry at Oe no Kiyama. The brilliant pink color comes from beets and it tastes great. If you don't have time to go, don't worry, you can buy the pink curry at the souvenir shop at Totori Station. If you like architecture and ancient building from the Meiji period, visit the Jinpukaku. Jinpukaku is a western style, French Renaissance style mansion. I actually visited this place because it's a hot spot in spring to see the cherry blossom trees. Nice to know, they used this location to film some scenes for the Ruroni Kenshin live action movie. And the last top thing to do in Totori is eating pancakes at the Oenosato village. I have tried a lot of pancakes around Japan, but no one can beat the fluffy and oh my god, so delicious pancake from Oenosato. There are two restaurants, the Oenosato Terrace and the Coco Garden. They don't have the same menu, so check it out before visiting. And also make sure to make a reservation or arrive early, because it is always quite fully booked. Pancakes can be ordered at both restaurants. So if you are looking for the best pancakes in Totori, I highly recommend you this place, you won't regret it. These were my highlights in Totori, you will find the details on my blog covering all places in this video including maps, links and other useful information. Thank you everyone for watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and share your own experience in the comment box below. Bye!